Sir, do you see what's depicted on the screen behind you? Uh, yes. Is that the top half of the document that you see that day? Yes. I would ask at this time if you can stand up and read it, uh, publish it to the jury, please. Sure. Starting at the top line. <laughs> Uh, some of the words I can't make up. Okay, if you can, please, if you could start what day? Uh, Friday, 524, uh, 2019. And on here on the left? And it says 1 a.m. And could you read what is said right next, what is written right next to 1 a.m.? Uh, I, I really can't make it up. Okay, and... What about right below 1 a.m.? What is there? Uh, it's uh, 6 o'clock. And then J. Michelle uh, D.E.P.T. with her. Uh, then below that, 6.40, wake up, alarm. And then took a shower together, dress. Jeans, lucky plus blue shirt, uh, coffee and cereal. Uh, brought computer to office. And over here on the right far side, what does that say? It's like a Nishi. I can't make up this word. Uh, doing juice bulk. And underneath that, please, starting with the next uh, line. This is 7, office, uh, 7.15, Kent, 7.30, uh, Mishi left, 8.27, uh, Andrea call, spoke briefly. Uh, I can't make up this mark here. Mishi back, office. And kitchen and it's, uh, it's like eight fifty. Kent left the nine, and then we're uh, ten. Work on reviewing. Uh, can't make out this uh, word here, but it's uh, uh, specification. And, and budget, Mishi and Andy covered our uh, drafts. Uh, continuing over to this this side, uh, looks like either eight o'clock or nine. Uh, can we go with that uh, word called and? Mishi took, uh, can't make that out either, to Hutch and Aqua's supermarket. Your Honor, um, if the witness cannot read something, I, I, this, it's, obviously it's whoever's handwriting it is, to have this witness interpret it, he's misreading what the document is, and I'm not sure him reading it is making it any clearer, if not more obscure, by misstating words that at least I think I know what they are. So I have to object to this procedure. If it was a clear document, it's one thing. If it's clarified by someone who knows what's on the document, that's, that's, that's one thing as well. But to have this witness read things, if he said he did not, couldn't make it out, then I'd be fine. But he's reading something, saying it out loud, and it's not correct. How do I cross-examine on that since I don't, this is not my client's handwriting. So. Well, first, the comment that this is not my client's handwriting is never to testify. Well, I, if I can, Your Honor, I'm no, sorry. I apologize, Your Honor. Just because this witness cannot read every word does not mean that there's no juror who can read the word? Written in cursive or somewhat in cursive, some jurors may be able to read it. 
better than the detected by. So the objection is over. You can continue, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so left off here, 1030, 1045, left for, uh, again, can't make out these two words. <coughs> Guau, uh, over here, uh, about 10. Oh, uh, I read that already. Uh, so 12 o'clock, lunch. Uh, can't make out that word. Del Pepe together. Uh, can't make that out. Nishi. One computer sent email to Michelle O. 125. Sent email to Jennifer 124. Uh, under two, 585 Deercliff, Avon. Call Mishi. Uh, I can now make out this time here. Can I'm gonna move it up? Um, 88 MS measured tree line. Call Mishi three times, 315 to 4 p.m. I cannot make out these uh, <laughs> Two lines here. Uh, same, same goes with this. Uh, about clients visiting on Saturday. Um, spoke to her. Uh, can't make that out. And went for. And can't make out the rest of this line here. 515 called Mishi. Uh, 430, Pavel. Uh, five back in house. Six, 641. Emailed. Uh, can't make out that. From phone. Seven, uh, West Hartford Starbucks. Two, frappuccino, two frappuccinos. I did not like. Uh, can I make that out? Uh, eight. Uh, officer at eight fifteen. Uh, call Lauren. Call officer. Uh, can I make that out? Texted, uh, cannot uh, read that. 824, nine, 845, left for Ethel Walker, expected with Mishi. And I can make out these two words there. 10, uh, 945, back in house, dinner my, by myself in front of TV. 11, texted Lauren. And at the bottom of the page, sir, is that cut off? Uh, yes, it is. Is this the original document? Uh, this is a photocopy. This is what you found out of that bag that day? Yes. One of the pages? Correct. Could start at the top, sir. Sure. Uh, phone calls. Nicole incoming 1259. 16 seconds thunderstorm. Uh, it's like Manny incoming 802, two minutes. Outgoing 802, five seconds. Outgoing 745, 16 minutes. And that's uh, Petu, P-E-T-U, outgoing, 841, 25 seconds, outgoing, 838, 59 seconds. Danny, canceled, 
853. Uh, Pappy canceled 854. Uh, Bruja canceled 855. Danny outgoing 916, 16 minutes. Uh, Petu outgoing 938, two minutes. Uh, Rugs outgoing 1152. Uh, 38 seconds. Spoke with Barbara. Oh, here, I'll move it over. Uh, she didn't know where roads were. And then here, Nicole FaceTime, incoming, 11.53, two minutes. Uh, Otis, incoming, 1.53. Uh, 23 seconds. Nicole, FaceTime, incoming, 239, one minute. Otis, outgoing, 357, two seconds. Uh, incoming, 335, 36 seconds. Incoming, 316, one minute. Uh, Poppy, incoming, 426, 21 seconds. Rugs, incoming, 426, one minute. Fotis incoming, 516, 47 seconds. Bruja incoming, 526, 13 minutes. And then uh, Petu outgoing, 707, three minutes. Outgoing, 558, 18 seconds. Poppy incoming, uh, I can't make out that uh, number there. 39, one minute. Bruja, missed call, 826. Nicole, incoming, 815. Um, 640, alarm, woke up and went to room, took shower with Fotis. Black leggings, black Adidas, black sweater. Uh, seven, it's like either zero or uh, 10 or uh, seven o'clock. Uh, made juice for Nicole and kids off to school. Made scrambled eggs for Nicole. 7.20, took Nicole to school. 8.12, back home. 8.30, uh, cook an omelet. Nine o'clock, went to take bag of I uh, can't make up that word, to warehouse. Uh, can't read that, Hutch and secretary. 9.30, stop and shop, 10.30, back home with grocery. 11 o'clock, went to a pet shoe shop to say bye. Uh, 11.30, went to pond to ski, and no one there to hold me. Oh, pull me, sorry. Uh, 12 o'clock, had lunch. Uh, two photos, pastel de papa. Uh, one, uh, one o'clock, one o'clock, three o'clock, home. 3.30, went with cleaning supply to AM. Uh, back and forth, 4.30, Pablo came. 5.10, drove to pick up rugs and drove back to late to pick up closes at 5.30, spoke with Barbara. Thank you, sir. If you can, please put them back. Thank you. draw your attention. Actually, may I have one moment? 
Let me go back to state 71. <coughs> and file for Jeff, for Jefferson. Just read, sir. Was that what was contained on 158? Yes. One sixty-three. Did you seize that item as an exhibit as well? Yes, I did. Why uh, did you do that? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Why? Um, because it was uh, very similar to the item that I found in the mud room. If I may approach your honor. Yeah. It's 75. Sir, if I may just have a moment. I may approach the witness, Your Honor. Yeah. Speak there, sir. Uh, 163. Where was that item? Or what area of the house of Fort Jefferson Crossing was that item found in? In the office, in on uh, that center uh, glass table. Who found it? Uh, Detective Pearson. Did you see it like as it is displayed in the photograph? I'm sorry, 21 off of. Jefferson, Jefferson on state 71? Yes, I'm the one who placed the numbers there. If you could take a look at the item in front of you, sir. What is that? Uh, this is the evidence packaging for the item depicted on the screen. How do you know? Uh, because it is uh, labeled as such. And also these are my initials on the back. Did you place the item inside the packaging? Yes, I did. It would offer to... I'm sorry, what exhibit number is it? Uh, one six, oh, I'm 75. sorry. Uh, state would offer state 75, Your Honor. Can I just look at the envelope again? Yeah. I have no objection. State 75 is good. Do you still have your gloves and your scissors, sir? Yes. Would you mind please opening that? If I can, sir, did you look inside that envelope? Yes, I did. What is contained therein? It's uh, the piece of paper I see is uh, Exhibit 163. If you could take it out, please. Your Honor, if I may, it's on the one published. I'm going to draw your attention again to the screen behind you. No, sir, with respect to this page, if I can. <coughs> You could take a look, please, as you just read from the other uh, document. Is this the same page? Uh, it's similar, ma'am. There's, uh, there's apparently uh, some additional writing on it. 
There is additional writing on this page? Yes. Where is that? Uh, mostly on the right-hand side of the uh, paper. If I may approach, Your Honor. If you could please hold it up and just indicate where the additional writing is. So it appears uh, this, is, uh, this is different than the previous exhibit. And also, uh, this, this bottom is not cut off. That page has three hole punches on the side, is that correct? Uh, correct. Is that a photocopy? Uh, no, this appears to be a, a handwritten note. If I may, uh, <coughs> I'm going to draw your attention to the screen, sir. If you could just read the additional writing that is different from the other item that you just read, please. Uh, so this is Pavel texted with, uh, I can't make that out, 212. Text to Pavel 213, text to Pavel 224. Uh, I can't read that. Called Pavel 338, Pavel called at 440. I guess I can't make out the last digit uh, with the asterisk. And then 1 a.m., officer called from NC, called him back. So with respect to the document you just read off of the screen in this one, the only difference would be this part over here with respect to these writings about Pavel. Uh, it appears to be. As well as the bottom was not cut off. Is that correct? Uh, correct. Did the other document have a backside? Uh, no, they were uh, one-sided photocopies. Is there something on the back of this side? Yes, ma'am. Sir, if you will, if you can read what's contained on that document. It says uh, Saturday, 5. I uh, really can't make out uh, that date clearly. Uh, 2019, 5.38 a.m. Uh, woke up, text. Uh, can't make out that name clearly. Uh, can't make this out. PD, 2.30. 5.30 a.m. Um, can't make out this. That's uh, okay. Car parked. Uh, policeman. Um, this this number is uh, difficult to make out, clearly. Met with. Uh, can't make this out. Uh, neither uh, with this time. Patton from NCPD, Rose, uh, APPR, 1015, Mian, uh, 1050, actually these, these minutes are difficult to make out too. Text Jacob, uh, you have the 203 phone number here. Uh, again, the, uh, the minutes, uh, this time, uh, or not clear, text Jacob, 1215, left Farmington, 145, Starbucks with Jacob. And on the bottom, sir? Uh, Asterisk drove three, uh, can't really read this clearly, Mishi, Cherokee, Otis, Sub, uh, Pavo, Raptor, uh, dropped Suburban and went back with Raptor. Uh, that's not clear. Um, picked up the comma. Uh, 585 DC. Left the comma. Drove Raptor back here. Uh, can't make out that. Tried to start bike. Uh, no start. Uh, this was a dirt, yeah, a dirt bike. Gave him jump start box. Thank you, sir. If you wouldn't mind putting that back in the envelope.
So do you recall the kitchen area of Fort Jefferson Crossing? Uh, yes. Yes, can you? <clears throat> Thank you. Yes. Show you what's marked as state seventy six. I don't believe there's an infection here. If I may inquire, Detective Riley, to open the item, please. Is there an objection? No objection. State 76, admitted as a full exhibit. If you can, take it out of the package, sir. Sir, what is that item? This is the uh, the box of trash bags that I see uh, from the kitchen at Fort Jefferson. The one contained on the photograph, which is state 17A out of uh, state 71? Yes. Thank you. If you can put it back in the box, Your Honor, the state has nothing further with Detective Riley. If I may just approach you. 